In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a read meter to your website. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here I am on my website in a blog post, and this is a longer blog post. So there's a couple things that you're going to notice. First, right here, it says it's a seven minute read. So I'm able to display the read time, how long someone would expect to be able to read through this entire article. But then check this out as they scroll down. If you look on the top left corner, you see where it's green. As I start scrolling, the meter moves further and further off to the right. And this reminds me of YouTube or when you watch videos, you have that play meter. So always, you know how much longer you have left to go and it almost gamifies it, right? So if someone's here reading this, they can see progress being made. They can see themselves getting closer and closer to the finish line. And I got to say, um, I'm not really that OCD, but there's something satisfying in making it to the finish line. So to me, it makes sense to add something like this to my website if my website is focused on written content. And this website here certainly is focused on written content. Now, this is going to be super easy to add to your website, and there's going to be all sorts of options that you can tweak to make it match the branding of your website. Best of all, none of this is going to cost you anything. Thing. So if that interests you, this is the video for you. Hi, my name is Adam from WP Crafter, where I make WordPress content for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss a thing, click on that notification bell. All right. So here's what you're going to do in your website. You're going to go to plugins. You're going to go to add new and you're going to do a search for the word read meter. Now, I kept spelling meter wrong. I'm notoriously a bad speller, so it's M-E-T-E-R. I was saying M-E-A-T-E-R. I'm a meat eater. Anyways, uh, here it is, read meter. I'm going to click on install, and then I'm going to go ahead and activate it, and I'm going to walk you through some of the settings and the options. Now, on my website, the blog post here is actually the style of it is done with Elementor. So this will work with your page builder as well if you're using a page builder that has a theme builder component like the professional version of Elementor or Beaver Themer or even Breezy, which also has a theme builder. Okay, now that I've activated it, I'll go under settings. There's a new option that says read meter. This is so easy to configure. So first option is you would choose what types of posts that you want it to be appearing on. Posts are your blog post pages. On my website, I have reviews and comparisons and things of that nature. So for this site, we're just going to do posts like this. And then you get to choose what the word per minute reading speed is. So you get that customization. So you can do some Google searching and figure out if your audience might be a, a faster reading audience or a slower reading audience. But this is a good rule of thumb right here you can check this box if you want comments to be included so if you want that bar to be comments included for me I'm not doing that because my blog posts tend to have a lot of comments and I don't want to make someone think it takes a lot longer uh, to get through it but that option is there and then you can also check this box to include this for images so I'm going to go ahead and check that box and then click on save. And here is the the blog post that's on this site that we're going to test it on you can see there's nothing showing right now I'm going to configure it all up and then I'm going to do a refresh and we'll test it together. Now let's go through these other options right here is the read time tab. And what this is, you can see it right here. That was this right here. It says seven minute read. You actually get to customize that to say whatever you want. I made it say minute read after the amount of time. So by default, you would choose right here what content you wanted to appear on. And so right here, it's set to show on the single posts, which is the post and then where I want it. Now I'm doing it with a page builder so I can precisely place it where I want with a short code. I'll show you that in a moment. But by default, you can choose above content below the title, below the post title. So actually, I'm going to do this right here. I haven't tested it. I'm going to choose that. Now, by default, you could choose what the text is before the time. So the time for this is seven, seven minutes. So the number seven. So I can have text show before or after. So right now it's set up to say reading time, then show the number, then have the word minutes afterwards. But you can customize this for what you want. So I got rid of this. And instead of minutes, I said minutes to read. So it's the number, then minutes to read. But you have full control over it. We have font size options, margins, paddings, colors, and all that kind of stuff. 
I did make a change so I will click on save and our last option here is for that progress bar so we have some options here as well so by default it's not on I'm gonna have it shown the top of the page I prefer it actually at the top of the page versus the bottom and then you have a choice of a just a normal straight color or a gradient uh, so you can add a little style there now there's the background color which it's showing you, you can change the colors to whatever you want but there's two color properties there's the background color and then what that gets replaced with as you scroll through so if you look on my website the background color I have is actually no color so what I did is I went here and I clicked on clear and I'm showing no color I just wanted it to be clear and someone only notices it when they start scrolling like that so you can choose how you want that to go I'm gonna leave it like this just so that you can see it you can choose the thickness I reduced it to 10 but let's take a look and see what it looks like with the 12 now lastly is the getting started tab here I'm glad they include this and here is that short code so I'll probably show you in a moment how to do this with the Elementor or your page builder but you really just have this short code that you drop in wherever you want okay so now when I click on refresh uh, let's see what happens okay so here we have it you can see right here it says reading time now I could have changed the background color I could have full control over the style remember the words everything okay if you don't want this and you can precisely place it exactly where you want and if you look here you can see that pinkish looking color is at the top bar that background color and then as I scroll it starts getting replaced with this color that was really easy to do so what I like instead is I went here and I changed that background color I just didn't want it um, I did it to that and then I clicked on save and you're gonna see now it goes away and it, you don't even have this indication that this feature is here until you start scrolling I prefer that personally but it's a personal preference so now let me show you how to use this with your page building tool so first thing I'm gonna need to do is go to here and put this in my clipboard this uh, short code right here for the read meter let's see I think I have Elementor Pro on here let me go to theme builder and I'm gonna click on add new and I'm gonna create a new uh, style for blog posts and the way you do that is you choose single and then you choose post and then we give this template a name I just named it blog post I'll click on create template and when we go in here Elementor is going to give us some options of templates I'm going to for the sake of time just choose uh, I'm going to choose this one right here that's fine I'll click on insert and then I'll click on yes so it's going to make this the design and I'm going to show you how to drop it in so it's it should automatically pull in my blog post oh there we go and so you see this right here let's see how this is configured um, Ooh, this is interesting okay uh, okay so what we'd want to do is just get the short code in someplace so let me go ahead and use the short code element like this short code drag and drop it right there and paste in my short code and then click on apply and uh, it's not rendering but that's okay we have to see what it looks like once we apply this to our blog posts so I'm gonna click on publish and I'm going to make this work on all blog posts I'll do a save and close it's saving and now let's go ahead and see actually here it is let's see if I do a refresh if it shows okay and there it is so now with this we would definitely want to style this some we'd probably want to center it and change some of the colors uh, which is also super easy to do and exit out of this and then I am going to go back into read meter and I'm gonna change the colors there so I'm gonna go here to read time actually um, now that we are using the short code what we could do is uncheck this and then we would scroll down here and we can change the colors. so I don't want a background color I'm gonna clear that and for this I would probably want it to be white like the other stuff going on I'll click on save I'll go here do a refresh and that should change it up there it is so then we just need to go in our template uh, manipulate it some to get it on the same line if you wanted or maybe center this and uh, do whatever you wanted with the style of it uh, but this is pretty simple to accomplish 
Um, and I really like the feature. I think that it's going to be kind of gamifying reading this type of content. This is a nice to have, not a must have. Uh, so I'm testing it on my website right now. I think I'll end up keeping it, but really what the goal of anyone that has a blog is, is to, or any website is to reduce the bounce rate. So I want someone to come here, see this and stick through and consume the content without leaving my site to go someplace else. So that's kind of what something like this is really geared for is to lower that uh, bounce rate, which negatively affects your search engine rankings as well. So uh, anyways, what do you think of this? Uh, this is nice to have, not a must have, but it's nice that it's free. It's easy to test on your website. It's not going to slow it down one bit and it just adds an extra bit of fit and finish to your website. So, hey, uh, if you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.